Hey guys, it's Nigel here with another video on Google. So in this video, I will be explaining exactly why you should be advertising your business on the platform. Uh, I'll go over some strategies you can implement into your campaigns, as well as a brief overview of how Google ads work. So let's just get straight into the presentation here. So why are Google ads so important for your business? More than 80% of businesses trust Google ads for their ad campaigns globally, and 8.5 billion Google searches occur daily. So it's the largest search network on the internet. As you probably know, uh, if, if someone doesn't know the answer to a question, the most likely response would be just Google it, right? So this means that your target audience is there and your competition is definitely on Google. Uh, ignoring Google ads is like closing the door in front of hundreds of people that are interested in your products and then allowing competition to come out and give free samples. So we want to be on Google. It's just as important as Facebook, Instagram, uh, TikTok, what have you. So how do, exactly does it work, right? So with Google ads, you can have display ads uh, in the results section of Google and on partner websites. So that means, you know, you can display your ads on Bing, uh, Firefox, basically any Google search partner, not just Google. Um, so it's really uh, beneficial if, you know, some of your customers are cavemen and are still using Bing, you know, uh, it'll work with mobile apps. You can advertise on YouTube videos. And the main premise of Google ad campaigns is that they're pay per click. So you have to bid over a particular keyword on Google and compete with other advertisers bidding over the same keyword. Uh, you can pick between three bidding options. So regular cost per click, uh, you'll bid the number of dollars you pay when a user sees your ad in their Google searches and then clicks on it. So you search something up, say you search up plumbers near me, uh, an ad pops up, you click on that ad, that's when you pay. That's when that plumber who's advertising would pay. Um, and then cost per mill or cost per mile uh, represents the sum of money you will pay for every thousand ad impressions. So maybe you're selling a product uh, with a discovery campaign. So instead of cost per click, it'll be cost per mile. So how, uh, how much money are you paying for every time a thousand people see your ad. Um, cost per engagement. Uh, cost per engagement basically represents the money you spend when a user takes a particular action. So this is heavily favored with YouTube videos. Um, if you wanna subscribe to a list or any other interactions you need. Uh, you know, As another option, you can opt for manual cost per click bidding. Uh, and provide a daily budget for your ad. So I highly recommend this, especially if you're selling products, you know, some keywords you'll have to bid and they might cost you 18, $20 uh, per click. You know, if your products $15, you're going to be paying more for a click than what you sell that product for. So you have to, you know, input a manual cost per click bid limit it's called. So maybe we only want to spend $5 on a click. Um, this means you control the number of dollars you spend on Google over a certain period. So it could be a week, month, year, whatever. Um, manual cost per click allows us to test out different campaigns and get a clear picture of how expensive it is to advertise your business on Google uh, with getting satisfactory results as well, obviously. So let's just go over the Google quality score. Um, so besides your bids, the ads placement in the search results section is also determined by your quality score. So the quality score is basically what Google gives to your ad after assessing the quality of your ads, the keyword you used, uh, whether those keywords are relevant to the landing page or your website, um, your previous performance with Google ads, the click through rate of your ads. So what click through rate means is uh, someone will search up uh, for your ad 
and maybe they won't click on it. So the percentage of the click-through rate is how often people click on your ad when they see your ad. So you usually want to aim for 10% lowest, I would say. Um, so 10% of people searching for what they want actually click on your ad. I would say lowest you want that to be 10%. Uh, and as well, obviously, the landing page. Uh, the score can vary between 1 to 10, where 10 is the highest score. Obviously, 1 is the lowest score. Um, so bid plus quality scores equal your ad rank. Uh, and the reason Google does this is because they want their users to have the best experience possible, right? Um, Google's not going to display your ad in the very top of the page if the quality score of that Google user is low. They want their users to be happy and continue to use Google. Um, so your ad rank determines your position on the Google search results and the probability that your prospects will see and click on the ad when they see it. Uh, after a user clicks on your ad, you will pay the sum in your bid. Now, usually Google will charge you uh, every month for all the clicks that you summed up during that month so it could be you know a hundred dollars thousand dollars whatever we are spending throughout the throughout the month there so we'll get into strategy here so a couple different things you can implement into your campaign is to use context to create memorable ads now contextually relevant ads are 1.6 times more memorable and 10 times more engaging than basic ads and that is from a gum gum study. Uh, contextual ads relate to current trends or events and are great at driving awareness of your product and service. So you can use Google Trends to identify heavily searched keywords and use them in your ad campaigns. Uh, another option is displaying ads using the keywords of the website we're targeting. Like in this example of the New York Times, uh, you know, very popular site of uh, book lovers, you know, New York Times bestseller. And, and the advertisement we would display is how to get a book published. So it's contextually relevant to what the user is already on, right? New York Times. It's more likely to get engagement. Um, the second strategy you can implement is target users with topic or interest ads. So suppose your product's fit into a specific interest category or your target audience has certain hobbies or interests. Uh, in that case, we can reach this segment with interest ads. Uh, in this example here that I put up, um, the advertiser assumed that people interested in the camping lifestyle would also be interested in living a simple life. Therefore, using a display ad to promote an ebook of 100 plus tips to make life easier. And what they're searching uh, before was 15 tricks to make your tent the comfiest place on earth. So it's kind of the same interest or topic. Um, topic slash interests ads can range from health and fitness to home decoration to travel, uh, beauty products, giving you numerous keywords to try and test. Moreover, interest-based targeting also displays our ads to users who Google searched the keywords we used in our ads. And the third and final strategy I'll give us today is to target your competition, plain and simple. You know, if you want to target new shoppers who might not know you yet, but know your competition, we can bid on keywords branded by your competitors. Um, however, we should be careful here and don't go after the big players. You know, if you're a small company that sells soda, you don't want to bid on Pepsi kind of thing. Um, their budgets are more significant and they can outbid you. Um, yet, you know, if your customer lifetime value is strong and you know how to play the retention game, it's worth trying to capitalize on your competitor's traffic. So in this example here, um, Buffer, so the social media management tool here that they're using, um, they're actually bidding on that Buffer keyword. So a different social media scheduler, the broadcaster app. Um, something to think about if you want to target your competition. And finally, with this strategy overview, um, if you were to partner with us, 
basically we would manage your entire Google campaign and do all of that for you. Uh, if you were to fill out our onboarding form, we would be able to thoroughly audit your brand's target customer, cost per conversion planning, average order value increase strategy. So how are we going to increase your average order value? Um, we'll find your geographical gold mine, so where your target audience is sitting and thriving. Uh, common customer traits, so what are some commonalities between your customers? And we'll come up with a keyword collection uh, to really you know, explode your brand on Google. So without further ado, guys, thank you for sitting through this quick presentation. If you're a business owner looking to expand uh, your business on Google, please schedule a free 30-minute call with me below. And you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you so much. Do you slide on all your nights like this? Do you try on all your nights like this? Put some spotlight on the slide. Whatever comes, comes to clear. Do you slide? Slide, 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 slide,